Hi, welcome to this Outlook training session. We're going to have a look at a few tips to save time in Outlook. Uh, the first of which is the rules wizard. So what do I mean by the rules wizard? So I've just got this on my computer here. Uh, to be able to start off with the rules wizard here, just going to zoom in uh, onto the rules wizard. There we go. I'll close off my magnifier. There we go. So I click on rules. And then I'm going to go down to create rule here. So click on create rule. That's good. So create rule selected. And I can decide to do a rule from Outlook, uh, if I want to do a subject sent to me, etc. Or I can decide to go into the advanced options box. So let's click on advanced options, see what we've got here. Now this is quite a comprehensive list of different types of rules and so that we can do here. So uh, let's say, for instance, uh, um, I'm interested in... Um, an email that is sent to me, that's Lenny. I can change the option down the bottom here for any member of my address book. So it's fine, I'm just going to have an email that's sent to me. Uh, I want it from somebody, so if I look down here I should find the from uh, a person, maybe it's at the top, oh at the moment it's from Microsoft Outlook, so I'm just going to change that and say if it's from Piglet. There's Piglet there. I'm just going to, at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that, just going to delete Microsoft Outlook there. That's good. From Piglet. There we go. Click on OK. Uh, that's fine. Just going to click on Next. And I can decide I'm going to move it to the specified folder. So down at the bottom here, I choose the specified folder. So click on the specified folder. Let's make up a folder. I've got it in the inbox here. I'm looking for Piglet. Oh, I've got Piglet already. So I'm going to click on Piglet, click on OK. And so what happens now is if I get an email from Piglet, then I can move this email from my inbox into the Piglet folder. But I can do other things as well. The rules wizard is quite comprehensive. So let's just go back and see what I can do. So for instance, if I say, um, it's going to be moved to the Piglet folder. Uh, I tell you what, instead of moving it, I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to move a copy. So you can see there it says move a copy to the specified folder. So it's in the original box and it's in the Piglet. So that's good. So it's going to move a copy. So it will remain in my inbox and it will do that, move it to the Pig Piglet folder. So there's many other options that I've got there. Um, player sound, mark it as red, display a desktop alert. That might be a good one. So if I click on display a desktop alert, um, yeah, it's interesting. The rule that you are creating uh, can never be edited in previous versions of Outlook once you have saved this change because this is a new type of client side rule. Nice one here. So it's good. So a nice little desktop alert. And display a specific message. I can do that as well. So click on next. And then I can add in exceptions. Are there any exceptions? So except if it's a particular group. So if it's Piglet as part of the group or if a subject contains specific words, etc. So there we go. So this is using the rules wizard. So what I do is I've got no exceptions to add here. So I'm going to click on next. I need to give it a rule. So I'm going to go Piglet move to Piglet folder. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to be a bit more detail here and then I'm going to type move a copy to Piglet folder and I can run this rule on messages that are currently in my inbox. So that's what I'm going to do. So just te check that, turn it on and I'm going to click on finish. It's going to run the rule straight away and then it says this rule will run only, uh, this rule will only run when you check your email in Outlook. If Outlook isn't running, the rule won't work for email you check online or from another device. So just a little instruction there. That's okay. That's great. If I now want to see my rules or manage them to go back and change, adjust them, which I might need to do because you never get it perfect uh, the first time. There's always maybe a user group that Piglet's part of that the emails go through and you don't want that to be moved to the Piglet folder. So I can click on rules and then I can go to manage rules and alerts. Mm -hmm.